Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Look at that Clinton. He's in here hoping Clinton. There's no fucking hoping Clinton. They're all the same. I'll show you politics in America. Here it is, right here. I think the puppet on the right shares my beliefs. I think the puppet on the left is more to my liking. Hey, wait a minute. There's one guy holding up both puppets. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control. Here's love connection. Watch this and get fat and stupid. By the way, keep drinking beer, you fucking morons. Bum, bum, Here, here's something that a lot of people don't understand. If you had a transgender employee and you got rid of them, you don't know what you're missing. I'm sure everybody that's listening to the show right now has used a computer, but they probably don't know that all multitasking processors were developed by one researcher, Lynn Conway, who's transsexual. If they listened to XM or Sirius Satellite Radio, it was invented by a transsexual. If uh, they play Madden, from Electronic Arts. That company was founded from the purchase of Ozark Softscape, which was started by a transsexual. If you listen to music that's on a synthesizer, that came from the popularization of the Moog synthesizer by Wendy Carlos, mm -hmm. transsexual. So, so there we go, positive role models and things you may not have known about. But let's, let's look at the, the other side of that. What are the, the, the worst stereotypes that you've encountered from being transgender? What well, are the worst things you have to rebut? Here's, here's what people expect. They expect that <coughs> all gay men are pedophiles, mm -hmm. that all butch women are um, wear a, a caterpillar cap and flannel shirts with no sleeves, and that mm -hmm. all transsexuals are football players in dresses that just want to go in the bathroom and pick at little girls' panties. That's the stereotypes we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Well, the football player, I think that's the old John Lithgow from, uh, oh gosh, what movie Or the was Bud it? Light commercials yeah. from the 80s. Right. That, that, I mean, that is, those were, those are lingering, silly stereotypes. It, they, they are lingering, yes. The other is uh, Jerry Springer. Well, I don't know oh. if we'll ever live that down. Yeah. Well, I, no one lives down Jerry Springer. Uh, <laughs> that is just the bizarre programming. Um, you know, Jerry, uh, curiously enough, uh, I knew him when we were both in Cincinnati, back when he was pretending to be a news guy before he was uh, became a talk show host. Uh, he actually is a thoughtful guy, but somehow he's been he's been seduced by trash TV to the point where I don't know if he takes anything seriously anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have yet another caller. Our caller, welcome to DTV. Uh, yes. I I've got three quick questions. Okay, quick. Uh, it's for Mr. Harmon. Uh, why did you appoint yourself to CTV board when you knew Tennessee Code said that was illegal, forcing you to resign? Okay. Um, the county commission uh, only recently learned through the law director that, um, that certain manner of board appointments were inappropriate, illegal not the way that Tennessee is supposed to do them. Uh, when the town commissioners learned about this, we resigned from all those boards, Board of Zoning Appeals, Cable TV Committee, etc. Uh, so now we have, we, we're still on certain internal boards, such as Finance Committee and our Governmental Committee. Uh, but if you follow the story in the news, we only recently learned through the law director that uh, this relatively new state law does indeed mean that, the law director did very good research on that, and so we responded appropriately as soon as we knew how. Okay, my second question. Uh, did you vote to ban pirate news on CTV in retaliation for anti-Obama cartoon and news? I have never voted to ban anything and don't have the power to do so. Uh, why do you support Obama murdering a thousand black Christians in Kenya and arson of 800 churches before he became president? Uh, I have no idea what kind of right-wing blog crazy rumor that is. I, I can tell you that one of the things I've been outspoken about on county commission was the horrific massacre of uh, 
of black Africans, uh, black Christian Africans in Sudan. The great genocide that is occurring there. And I actually sponsored the resolution that we should be keeping a monitor on our investment portfolio and divest of any holdings that are in any way connected to the Sudanese government. And um, my last question is uh, Are you a homosexual? Uh, not that it's any of your business, but no. All right. So, our caller, uh, we appreciate some callers. Uh, and uh, if you want to join the conversation, we always get a caller or two in at the last minute, 215 2288. That was a series of unusual questions, uh, but... I'm Bill Hicks, and I'm dead now. <laughs> but now I'm in heaven. <laughs> Party time! <laughs> this is the site of my conception. I am the fruits of your labor. I am the offspring of the movement. So when people ask me whether I've been to Selma before, I tell them I'm coming home. Barack the Magic Negro lives in D.C. The L.A. Times, they call him that cause he's not authentic like me. Yeah, the guy from the L.A. paper said he make guilty whites feel good. They'll vote for him and not for me cause he's not from the hood. See real black men like Snoop Dogg or me or Farrah Khan have talked the talk and walked the walk, not coming late and one. Oh, Barack the Magic Negro lives in D.C. The L.A. Times, they called him that Cause he's black but not authentically Barack, the magic Negro Lives in D.C. The L.A. Times, they called him that Cause he's black but not authentically Some say Barack's articulate And bright and new and clean The media sure love Oh, I interlopers dream But when you vote for president Watch out and don't be fooled Don't vote the magic negro in Cause, cause I won't have nothing after all these years of sacrifice And I won't get justice uh, This is about justice This is about me, it's about justice It's about uh, buffet, I don't have no buffet and just in case you missed it, this week I uh, uh, I inhaled uh, frequently. That was uh, that was that was the point. Um, <laughs> so Shits get way too complicated for me. There are white folks, and then there are ignorant motherfuckers like you. Now you know that guy ain't shit. Sorry ass motherfucker got nothing on me, right? Nothing. Sure you can have my number, baby. You ain't my bitch, nigga. Buy your own damn fries. I have this feeling, man, because you know there's a handful of people actually run everything. That's true. It's provable. It's not a fuck. I'm not a conspiracy nut. It's provable. Some, Some people, people call, call you handful, the elite. Very small elite running I'll call you corporations, my which include the mainstream media. I had this feeling who's ever elected president, like Clinton was, no matter what your promises you promise on the campaign trail, blah, 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 when you win, you go into this smoky room with the 12 industrialists, capitalist scum fucks who got you in there, and you're in this smoky room and this little uh, uh, film uh, screen comes down, and a big guy in a cigar, roll the film. And it's a shot of a Kennedy assassination from an angle you've never seen before. <laughs> It looks suspiciously off uh, the grassy knoll. And then the film, the screen goes up and the lights come up and they go to the new president. Any questions? 